hello guys welcome to simple programming channel in this video we will highlight double and float data types by giving an example about both of them because we didn't really give an example when we talked about uh, data types in the previous video so if you don't know what data type means go back and watch the previous video as we described in the previous video a double and float data types handle floating point numbers so floating point numbers means numbers that have a decimal part like 10.2025 5000.425 and so on and so forth basically in general it's a number with a decimal part so the main difference about a double data type and a float data type is that a double data type takes more space in the memory and at the same time it is more precise and we have seen that in the last video and today we'll check that out by giving an example I have already created a Java class and if you are not familiar with that go and watch the first videos so the idea is to assign the same value to a float variable and a double variable and see the result and the difference between them okay let's start float x is equal let's give simple numbers like 9 over 7 f and we have seen y f before we print the result and we give a message like this is the float representation of x and we print our value x we do the same thing I just get this by make a combination of control shift and down arrow let's change our variable data type to a double variable name to y and we change it here to d as well and you know why according to the last video I explained that double and we want to print y this time ok save and run your program so here is the result assigned to a float variable and here is the result assigned to a double variable and as we said in the previous video for a float data type the decimal part has up to seven digits and let's count that one two three four five six seven and for the double data type we have up to 16 digits and you can check that by counting and now if you can notice here for the float representation it just takes all this and normalize it to three however for double it just gives you a uh, more precision so basically that's everything about a float and a double uh, data type uh, before I end this video I just would like to say that you can still assign integer value to a float or a double data type it's not a problem and let's check that out okay here our result so there is no problem here it prints that we have 1000 here we have 5000 here it just gives a zero as a decimal representation to indicate that it is a float or a double variable so that was a quick video about float and double see you in the next video guys goodbye and good practice